All right, what's going on guys? It's GCP here and wait till you guys watch this gameplay, man. Oh my goodness. It was absolutely crazy. Now I know what you're thinking. It is Atlas Superstore. GCP hates this map. And yes, that is true. I really do think that this map is trash. I'm not a fan of this map, even though some of you guys are. I don't get it, but that's besides the point. The point here of this gameplay and this video and this commentary is the fact that I just could not lose a gunfight to save my life. And that sounds kind of weird because all the other videos that I make complaining about me losing gunfights is always happening. I'm always complaining about myself losing gunfights, how, you know, Infinity Ward is totally stacking, you know, the cards against me. And the skill-based matchmaking is something that is always working against me as well. And that's true. That's absolutely true. And I stick to that point. But here's what I want to tell you guys and what I've learned from exploiting that skill-based matchmaking. If you learn to adapt the way that Infinity Ward wants you to adapt in this game, there's some magic that happens. It is, it, I, I don't know how else to explain it, but all the rumors I think I wish there was a way for me to actually prove it with numbers and stuff like that or, you know, in the way the algorithm works. But the only thing that I could tell you for sure is what I can show you guys. And honestly, when I was exploiting the skill-based matchmaking by a few matches prior to this one, I was just aiming all over the place. I went negative and I was acting like I was a noob. And again, my gun accuracy was all over the place as well. All those factors really changed up the lobbies that I got into. And just the way that I was attacking these guys and the way that these gunfights were manipulated. Now, don't get me wrong. The Ram 7 is a beast weapon and it does shred people. But it really had me kind of confused how every single, almost every single gunfight that I got into, I just, I just could not lose. It was crazy. I've never had this happen to me in a Modern Warfare game until this particular match. It was just something that I thought was a little bit bizarre because, again, like I said before, it's happened to me so many times where I should have won a gunfight, or at least I think I should have won a gunfight, but it just ended up not happening. It actually was the opposite where I would lose that gunfight. And again, for whatever reason, somehow my aim would be off. The aim assist would just not work. And suddenly my aim would just move over to the left. You guys have heard it all. You guys have heard me countless times complaining about that. You guys have even seen it. I've even shown you in the form of intro clips. But this gameplay, hopefully it, it shows you guys something that really, as you guys are watching on your screen, I was not able to lose these gunfights. It was crazy. I've only died, I think, maybe two times, I believe. Dude, I just could not lose, and I was shocked. I was literally shocked. I was just blown away. I was like, whoa, no way. There's just no way that I'm able to win all of these gunfights doing what I'm doing because it just does not happen in every single match that I play. But once I did the whole noob act, where I was being really bad with my shots and my accuracy and I was acting like a noob and I was actually behaving the way a noob would behave, it puts me into situations where I just cannot lose because the game thinks that I'm the noob. So the algorithm is actually going to work in my favor because I am quote unquote bad. It wants to protect me so I am going to win these gunfights. Anyways, that's just what I think. This could all just be baloney, but honestly, this is what I felt. And I'm telling you guys, I'm not just saying that just to say it, but this is literally how I felt while playing this match. Like, it's crazy. Like, all my shots were just on point, and it felt like it was it was kind of abnormal. It, it felt like I was just winning every single time. It just, I don't know. Like, this is the way Call of Duty should be. This is the way it should feel all the time. Like, if I know I'm going to win a gunfight, I should know I should be winning that gunfight. This is the way that I imagined Call of Duty to be. But for some reason, Modern Warfare is just not that way because of the whole skill-based matchmaking pattern that they got going on. And honestly, oh my goodness, if this was how it was from the very beginning, 
then I would like this game a lot more. In addition to it having Dead Silence as a perk, in addition to having great maps, in addition for them to getting rid of the whole skill-based matchmaking system. I mean, I could just go on and on and on, but man, this game felt so good even though it's a map that I hate. So, <laughs> it's just, man, I, I'm telling you guys, there is something fishy that Infinity Ward is doing with Modern Warfare, but honestly, you can exploit the skill-based matchmaking in this game, and this is just proof of it from my perspective. But anyways, let me know what you guys thought about the gameplay and the comm. Do you guys think that they are manipulating the skill-based matchmaking in this game? Because I definitely felt it in this match. But anyways, let me know your guys' thoughts down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload. With that being said, this is GCP, signing off.